All right, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Nexus, the Jupiter Incident. Let's try a different strategy. Let's get rid of that bloody ship. All right, so first off, you two attack me. Affirmative. Affirmative. And let's move out. Warning, we are under attack. Understood. Warning, our quadrants are under attack. Warning, engine disabled. Mm. I really wish you would stop doing that. Affirmative. Enemy squadron destroyed. Well, at least yes, I don't have any shields either. All right, let's see if we can do this. Enemy squadron destroyed. Support energy low. Device powering down. Emergency. Hull integrity is critical. Yeah, we're getting sucked into the wormhole. That's not good. Right, we have to be a little bit more clever than that. Warning. Incoming enemy gunboats. Aye, aye, sir. All right, let's stick to the uh, wormholes. Warning. We are under attack. Turn off the disruptor for now. In position. All right, let's stay here for now. As we know the aquamarine is coming at us. Under attack. Enemy squadron destroyed. Yes, sir. All right. Understood. The ship has reopened the Noah Gate. It can't hit me very well, but at least for now, we're not getting sucked into the uh, thing at the moment. Support energy low. Device powering down. Emergency. Hull integrity is critical.
Yeah, that's not happening. Warning. Incoming enemy gunboats. Aye, aye, sir. Alright, so we clearly need to kill him. How to do so without dying ourselves. Understood. Warning. We are under attack. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. In position. Enemy squadron destroyed. Yes, sir. All right. This bouncing motion is getting me a bit nauseous, but. Let's see if we can just do this. I mean, we don't have to go towards it. Warning! Our squadrons are under attack. We have lost a fight. The ship has reopened the Noah Gate. We have lost a gunship. I told you to get back on board. I mean, it shouldn't matter as long as we destroy the ship. Good thing it's very bad shot. Kind of sure what it's trying to do. It's almost lost its engine. <laughs> yeah, this would probably be a moment where tactical weaponry Support might actually be useful. Low. Device powering down. So close, kill it. Emergency. Hull integrity is critical. Congratulations, Vice Admiral. To be honest, I didn't think we would be able to defeat such a huge ship without our shields. It was nothing. <laughs> think of it as the climax of the longest lucky streak of all time. The black hole will do the rest. Do you think that it could be? Over? For good? Are you asking if I think Angel can defeat the entity? Or do you mean... 
Noah Gate, locked down. Is Angel the same sophisticated artificial intelligence as the entity itself? I suppose what I'm asking is, are we putting an end to one conflict only to sow the seeds of the next one? They're similar, of course. Technologically speaking, that is. But I trust Angel. She lived among us for a long time. She had plenty of chances to turn against us if she wanted to. Oh, come on, Marcus. Don't be so naive. You saw how Angel's evolution took place. She didn't start off so powerful. Her strength increased over time. She helped us, that's true, but we helped her in return. Why turn against your allies before the final victory? If she defeats the Entity, she won't need our support anymore. Who knows what she'll decide? The future is always uncertain. Yes, sir. I still trust her. The Entity is virulent, aggressive. It annexes entire systems in order to develop. Angel is more subtle. She adapts to existing systems, finds her way through them intuitively, integrates them, and does her best to understand them. That's how she grows. I hope you're right, Marcus. As for now, what will happen to the Earth? If she defeats the Entity, she will reverse all the damage done. That is what she promised to do. And if she lied? Then we are all lost. So, you know, a win-win situation. In position. Hellas gate locked down. Understood. And yeah, having to go up against a Vardrak ship without shields. A good thing, because if they had Understood. one more lucky strike, they probably would have destroyed us. I mean, I've seen ships start to evacuate well before this point. In position. Chakras gate locked down. Affirmative. At least the Angel Wing is good at preparing itself. Affirmative. Yeah, we didn't suffer any permanent damage by the looks of it. That's good.
Right, let's head to the Earth Gate. We'll have to make it out of here on our own. It's too late. The gravity is increasing fast. Angel, can you hear me? Get away from here. That's not what she said, but sure. Are we okay? Did we escape? Yes, sir. But the Nexus was destroyed. What happened after that is there in the history books for everyone to read. The Earth needed time. Lots of time. Did Angel really die? I never truly believed that. Her goals were broader than sacrificing herself for the Earth. She outgrew us a long time ago. She selected this location. I became a new Moses coming down from Mount Sinai. I will never forget the things she told me before she left to fulfill the task she was designed for. To kill the gods. Cool. So, that was uh, an interesting ending. I mean, this is kind of cute. I've never actually taken a look at the credits, so I didn't know this was coming. Wonder what this is all about. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on. I mean, this is very neat, if just a little bit silly.
All right, that was that was kind of cute. So this was uh, Nexus, the Jupiter incident. A oh, fun game. Definitely could have played it better if I'd, you know, been a bit more patient, perhaps. Yeah, some missions were not as good as others, but I do like the old space tactical combat stuff. And I kind of hoped, kind of wish they had uh, actually gotten together uh, enough money for a sequel. And now that they are owned by Nordic Games, or THQ Nordic, I don't know if that will ever come. I mean, a kinda, sorta, I'm sure that, that THQ Nordic is willing to try stuff, but yeah, they have a very spotty track record. Yeah. Seeing uh, a lot of Dutch slash Flam Flemish names in there. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. Hmm. Ah, well. That was fun. Silly, but fun. Thank you all for watching, though. Thank you for being patient with me getting through this game. Kind of fun to play a game that I don't know the ending of, but can't always have uh, such nice games in the back pocket to play whenever you want. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I already said that. See you all in the next Let's Play.